Hi guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another FS Elite video. Today we are checking out Plum Island Airfield by the team at iBlue Yonder. Uh, it is actually part of their $100 burger package, which you get two airports. You get the Minuteman and Plum Island, which has taken a bit of a uh, renovation as of late. Now Plum Island isn't a new airport by the team but it has had a few updates and having a look around and seen some of the approaches and the cool things that they've done with the airport I thought it was actually worth a video of its own so uh, why don't I show you around? Now Plum Island Airport has been around for a long time and has a lot of history all the way dating back to 1926 when the military were first flying in and out of here so it's quite fitting that the team at iBlue Yonder um, have gone back and done some updating to bring it up to this day and age in the sim. Some of the enhancements has been a ground polys, they've also done some work in new colorizations for the photoreal terrain to better match the surroundings so this works with Orbex and also it works with Terra Floris and as you can see I'm using Terra Flora by Turbid Designs in this video. Now taking a look around you can see some of the photo reel. I've done a lot of research watching YouTube videos approach in and out and I'll tell you what they have got the surrounding areas spot on. Now once you get on the ground and you take a look around you really get that sense of immersion feeling that you're actually in a little town airport. There is a couple of buildings uh, in Plum Island Airport. The first one we're actually looking at is the flying school and the attention to detail is insane. All the weather instruments on the top there. You can even peek through the windows and you can see different things within the building and if you're thirsty there's even a bending machine you could get a nice drink from. Now taking a walk across the car park to the hangar, one of my favourite things they've done with uh, Palmer Island is all the background noise. There's different things that you can hear like birds chirping, uh, lawn mowers, dogs barking. It really gives you that immersion feeling that it just doesn't look good, it really sounds great at the same time. So once you've had your $100 burger for the day, hopefully you filled your aircraft before you flew into here. But being such a little airport, um, you may have expensive av gas bill. But um, we've been saying that it's worth actually taking a look around uh, the detail that's being put into the fuel tanks over here. With all the updates, the team at iBlue Yonder are really making you feel at home at Plum Island Airport. They've actually added a bunch of static objects and static vehicles. And one of my favorite things is these little tires filled up with cement because they are actually down at my local airport and using as tie downs. But they also included a bunch of static objects scattered around the place. So as you can see, you've got different things like gliders, Cessna 172, and even a tractor in the background that looks like that um, should be cutting up some grass. And there we have some Pipers and more 172s, and the static aircraft have been done um, with a uh, very high quality. Now this is one of my favourite parts of the airport, there is some static objects at the end of the unusual part of the runway and when you're hurtling down there there's one thing that your eye wants to focus on and you need to get that aircraft up in time or it's going to be a mess but it's pretty cool. Now all the vegetation have been updated such as the blades of grass here which adds to a nice touch. Uh, you'll find little gold nuggets everywhere such as the windsock here blowing in the right directions and it's probably one of the best ones the most realistic windsocks I've come across. The runway textures have been done remarkably well. You can even see the faded out Plum Island uh, written on the runway. So when you're approaching into runway 01 as I did at the start of the video, which is very challenging, um, it's great to see that extra attention to detail. Also they have included the grass one way. So one good thing about Plum Island is not only it's beautiful, it has very challenging approaches and it has all been represented really well by the team at Eye Blue Yonder. So thanks for taking a look around with Plum Island with me. We're actually gonna depart on runway 01 so I can actually uh, show you guys what it looks like uh, when you're coming across the static um, 
objects at the end of the runway but um, this is great to be an added extra um, and an updated version of Plum Island with Minuteman for the 100 burger package um, I blew you under good job there so we've been saying that thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in part two as we check out the Minuteman cheers have an awesome day